This is Skillheader, a unique platform for IT skills, presenting the most unique and innovative solution of its kind for your databases. Let's explore the final version as a demo. There are two days left to expire this database and a pop-up message appeared to renew. It will appear with every login incident until renewed. The code can be visible to share with the administrator so the product key can be granted. When the user has the product key, he will enter it to renew the database like this. Congratulations, the key has been accepted and the database is now renewed for one year. The next renewal date also appeared. The database will be restarted and boom, no more pop-up messages for renewal for one year. Have you ever thought about how the product keys or serial numbers work for the activation of certain software? We have built a dynamic way to set the validation duration for your database. You will be able to set these rules. The subscription period like six months or an annual. Reminder pop-up message to renew before certain days. Grace period before expiry. The database will be locked if not renewed. Random serial number and key matching system. This is level three of the series to secure and lock your database. You can click on the I button above or the link in the description. In the first level, we learn how to implement the passwords with backend tables. And in the second level, how to completely hide and lock the database. You can download the complete files with all the source code. Let me explain the evolution behind the expire and renewal of the database. This is the table behind the serial number and the product key and it has been made for 10 renewals. This is today's date and as the pop-up message was appeared two days before as you have seen in the last demo. Here is the trick in code status column where it means active key. Upon next renewal, this A will shift to the next row and so on. I have put the date of January 2025 and no message appeared due to the database is valid. Now I have put today's date. The activation form appeared without any notification due to expired. Well, either you can go next after entering the right key or quit the database. Now, there is one day left to expire. Notification appeared. What if database expires? Direct activation window will appear. How to generate all these massive alphanumeric random keys. Here is a solution for you using MS Excel's random function. The numeric random numbers generated. With the ASCII code, random alphabetic letters can be created.
Now, let's make it 21 alphanumeric characters based. Let me copy the formula so it can be given to you in the description. Convert all keys into values. Very fine, let's check the length of characters of all the random keys. As you can see, the value of code 1 is exactly as the hidden value in the activation form. Now, if you have question about these animations, there is simple use of timer event with a GIF animated image. This is not the topic, but we will try to make a comprehensive video on this in future. If you notice, there are several verifications associated with the startup screen. Let me reduce its speed to 500 milliseconds. Starting from establishing the back-end connection, this verification is based on either local or online connectivity with SQL or MySQL server. Next is to verify the version of the database which will be decided by the programmer. You can join the activation system at the startup as well. Here comes the login screen. Links to download all the open source file is available in the description. Please like, share and comment the video.